This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar illustrating all the latest features in Apple Final Cut Pro from version 10.4 through 10.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the new comparison viewer in Final Cut along with a quick way to modify the colors across multiple clips. Another feature is the comparison viewer. Here, for instance, this is footage from John Putch in his film Route 32. We have two guys having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation in the middle of the wilderness. The problem is it's a winter day. I want it to have a cold feeling. How do I do that? So I'm going to select all of my clips, Command A, go to the Effect Browser, and let's go to the Looks category. Look, 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 right there. And let's apply something that's got a winter coldness to it, teal and orange. Because I want to apply it to multiple clips, I'm going to double-click the effect, which applies it to all the clips at the same time. And we now have a much more stylized, cold, winter day kind of look. Except there's sort of a difference in contrast between this and that image. They don't, they don't work. This is desaturated. That's pretty saturated. Be nice if I could color grade those to match, but how do I do that? That's where the comparison window comes in. Go to the window menu, show in workspace, comparison viewer. This displays another screen where I see the last frame of the previous edit or the first frame of the next edit so I can compare the shot I'm coming from or going to with the shot that I'm currently in in the timeline. Well, let's stay with this previous edit and let's open up the color panel and let's just do some quick color correction using the color board. I'm a huge fan of the color wheels, but the color board is faster. I like the control of the color wheels more. I'm going to select this clip. First thing I'm going to do is pull down the saturation a lot to give us that kind of cold winter day kind of look. Then there's a blue cast here, which doesn't exist over here. I'm going to go to color, grab the global setting and just dial in some blue. And now it's a whole lot closer in feeling. This is before and this is after. They all feel, this feels better. Let's go over to here. Notice the comparison view updates the last frame of the previous edit. I'm going to select this clip and again we'll go back to color board. We'll pull the saturation down just a bit. Get the skin tones to be about the same. Pull this and add some blue. And now we got something which is more of a piece. The comparison view allows me to compare the last frame of the previous edit or the next edit with whatever position my playhead is in. I can also click on the Save button, click Save Frame, and I can now isolate that frame. Notice how I saved his frame. I'm going to go over to here. I want to find a spot where he's just throwing right there. Save that frame. Find the same spot where he's just throwing right there. And just make sure everything sort of feels the same. So I can work with specific frames. I can even click the frame browser and see frames that I've taken from time to time and pick the frame that I want to compare. We'll click that one. It'll save up to 30 frames. Comparison view is really useful when you're doing color grading because it helps you see where you've been and where you're going. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering all the latest features in Apple Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 302. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. Almost 2,000 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.